Hello. I uh, I went on a, a Nemo shopping spree a couple weeks ago, and all my stuff has arrived. Uh, this is the Nemo Wagon Top 4P LX. I was waiting for the for the 8P to to get back in stock, and and when I logged in, I saw the 4P LX and wasn't really sure what the difference was uh, so I, I bought this and uh, I'll just make a video to show you what the difference is and some of the other Nemo stuff I got um, sorry I'm not a not a pro uh, videographer here so the bag it this thing is huge right it's like 35 pounds or something clearly it's not for weight weenies uh, car camping at its best um, so anyway uh, giant bag cool pole bag comes with lots of uh, uh, tie down rope uh, pretty sturdy uh, tent pegs uh, they're 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 not that light I don't know if they're steel or exactly what they're made of but they're heavier than you would think and sturdier so I haven't bent any yet uh, here in the wilds of my backyard uh, first thing I noticed and I thought was really cool I like touches like this is a a glow-in-the-dark uh, constellations chart inside the instructions uh, or inside the tent bag uh, so you can charge it up with your light right and then uh, you can uh, spot some some constellations while you're sitting outside which I thought was pretty cool and the instructions are wicked easy uh, they're here inside the bag and then here I, I think you can see kind of what one of the important differences in the 4p is this inner shelter number five there uh, so uh, more to, I'll show you more on that uh, so anyway my eight-year-old son and I set this up in about five ten minutes it doesn't I mean it didn't go up super fast but that uh, was our first time and there's not much to it though so I'll walk you around the outside um, it's not guide out I, I think it probably should be it seems like it really wants to be there's it's so big uh, that there's there's plenty of things that can get kind of twisted or, or shifted or whatever. So I think guying it out is going to be a necessity regardless of your weather conditions. Um, so this is, I, I don't know if the, the back end or the, the sleeping end, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, two little, two, uh, I don't know if they're two different doors or this is my first day with it. I haven't really spent a lot of time yet. Um, but zippers at first i was like scared with about the zippers uh because i thought the the zip was coming undone no, it's hard to explain now um but yeah like so there's there's four total uh on the same whatever i'll just i'm wasting time there um anyway doors nice cool it's got doors so that folds out um, and then inside you can see this this little vestibule or inner sleeping area is is attached I'll show you that from the other side in a minute um, it's a nice little whatever screen there it's got a it's got a window that'll fold up or a cover that'll fold up but it looks like I mean I think you'll be fine in the rain unless it's really you could probably leave it open all the time unless it's really raining hard and then you could put that up. Um, again, setup's super easy. The poles are pre-bent, so don't freak out when you see the poles. Um, uh, easy to set up, just got these little plastic clips. This little guy, um, it, it, it will actually turn. So when you when you open it up, you, may, you your poles don't look like they're lined up appropriately, but they, they will be um, let's see the I'm not real sure there's this is just a looks like just a guy point um, but it seems kind of weird like because when you pull it it loosens up this bit but I, I don't know I think a lot of things will come together when you guy out every point um, this is the this is the cover over the it's all mesh inside and this cover just rolls out um, and you can you can pull it all the way back and it'll you can roll it up and stash it here that way this mesh piece is is all exposed 
Uh, so my plan is to kind of use that as our cooking storage area. Uh, again, this needs to be guyed out. Uh, adjustable poles here to tighten it up. Right. Cool. Really impressed with Nemo's stuff so far. Again, I'm in the, in the wilds of my backyard, but uh, build quality seems really, really solid. Uh, so here's the, I, I guess I'll call it the front door. Um, I've got it staked out a little bit. Um, I'm not certain what this thing's for. It's a big, long, uh, I don't know, strap. I guess you could, I guess you could stake it out or, yeah, I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know. I'm not real clear on what it is, but it has a clever little stash pocket, which pockets, man, you can't go wrong with pockets. Okay, so we'll check it out inside. Um, this thing, the door, looks like it zips all the way down if you want. And I think it has a stash sack. Yeah, so you can, if you want, you can zip it all the way down and stuff it in the little stuff sack here. Again, pockets. Uh, and staying on the pockets theme, I don't know what this one's for either. But on the back side of the Nemo logo here, on the inside of the door is a big stash. I'm sorry, I'm horrible at camera work here. Um, my assumption is, is that this whole green thing, the front door, if it's warm or whatever you want it open, you could probably just use that as a stash or stuff sack. Um, but whatever, I put all sorts of stuff in it. Um, again, I don't. There's lots of little stuff in here um like so here's a little uh tie down for something i don't know what it's meant for i could sure hang lights or whatever from it but uh lots of points that i'm not real clear on what what they do yet like you can see uh let me see like here here's a uh a strap or a buckle and i'm not Maybe that's for a different accessory or something. Same thing here. Um, little buckle, another one down below. So I, I think there's a different, uh, a different uh, cover you can put on. Looks like the garage or something. But um, for me, this is, I think it's gonna be plenty of room. Another, another little tie down point there. Um, so let me see. I guess, I don't know, another tie down? Lord, lots of tie downs. So, um, here, I didn't, I didn't realize that this is how this thing was constructed. Um, I, I assumed, I thought there was just a divider here, uh, and then a, a floor, but you can see there's no, there's no floor on this half. And I bought the, uh, the footprint. Uh, I, I don't have it set up because I'm just in the backyard, but, uh, the footprint, looks like it's only going to be for that half of the tent i mean i guess you could throw a carpet or something in here for me this is perfect because uh the reason we got this is uh a place to sit out of the weather a uh, place to store all your stuff maybe cook uh clearly gotta find some ventilation before i start cooking in here but um just a, a place to keep everything out of the weather and family camping at its at its finest uh, so little windows inside here. I uh, I've seen a couple people in older reviews uh, wonder about how good this window setup is, uh, how good it's going to be in like extreme weather. But it seems like you know these you can you can buckle these in, and uh, I mean it's, it seems kind of odd. I know it's just Velcro and these little little straps here, but. Uh, just I think the way it's built it would be almost impossible for rain to get in if you've got these buckled and the tent is guyed out appropriately um, I say that I haven't actually tested it so who knows uh, so here's the cool little little indoor uh, looks like a little hazmat facility um, also what I haven't really spoken about I'm six foot tall so I can I can stand up everywhere which is awesome um, and then I think I can stand up inside this guy too. Yeah. So, um, here's the inner 
vestibule. I think it's uh, one thing I was worried about when I bought this and I didn't realize it had this vestibule was how is this going to stay warm, right? Because this is a lot of airspace. Um, but I think this will really help, right? You can, once you zip this up and toss a candle or something in there, I think, uh, I think it should be no problem keeping yourself warm. And then you sort of got a little extra layer of air insulation here. Um, so cool. Yeah. Come on in. Here's another window inside in this little thing. I don't know. See how that works. Uh, it's got little straps. Plenty of learning for me to still do. I'm just just wanted to show folks this uh, so you can have a look for yourself. Uh, I'm really impressed with the tent so far. Pretty much just because there's pockets everywhere. <laughs> Not really. Um, so I got some other stuff too in my in my uh, Nemo shopping spree. I'm, this is I may have mentioned it already. This is my first uh, experience with Nemo equipment, but I am. I'm really impressed so far. Uh, that said, you know, again, I'm in my backyard. So we got this, the insulated, uh, I don't remember the name of it, but it's the big insulated uh, sleeping mat. Um, obviously overkill, but again, car camping here. This is not my backpacking equipment. Uh, it's got this cool little, little foot pump thing. I say cool. I don't know. It's it's kind of ludicrous on the mattress this size. So what I did to pump it up the first time is it's got these release valves on the corner. Uh, so I just opened that and gave it, you know, I don't know, a minute or two worth of big deep breaths. And then once you get it sort of sort of filled up, then you can use the the foot pump. You open these guys up. And they're one-way valves, so you just you use the foot pump and get it nice and tight. So uh, my wife actually fell asleep on this in our living room the first night I set it up. So she likes it. Um, and I had two eight-year-old boys that thought it was could be used for bouncing on yesterday. And it stood up to that. So I'm uh, pretty impressed. Sorry. Pretty impressed so far. Uh, we'll see how it stacks up. The... I got a couple of their pillows. I don't remember which ones these are uh, or what the actual name of them is, but they're they're way more comfy than I thought they would be. They have like, I don't know, it feels like probably an inch of uh, padding in there. And then you can, you can adjust it. It's just air, uh, so you can adjust it kind of whatever thickness you want. And then, so I got two of them and here's the, oh, Philo. I got two of them. This is this is the stuff sack that it compresses into. Uh, and the stuff sack is internal to the and to the pillow. So you open this up here and somehow the stuff sack yeah it just folds out here. You can take the air out and stuff it in there. So these I'm I'm pretty stoked for a camping. I will actually probably take these backpacking. I always want a pillow backpacking and I I end up sleeping on a rolled up jacket or something and it's never never comfy so that's probably something to burn some some weight on um okay so that's the pillows that's the sleeping mat uh sleeping mat comes with oh what's that got a little repair kit too i guess uh so stuff sack for the for the sleeping sack again it's huge but whatever it's car camping uh and then it's got this little uh velcro strap that I guess, I don't know. I guess you could just put the strap on and dispense with the sleep sack or the stuff sack or or whatever. Uh, some destructions on the inside there and I guess some sort of repair, I assume a repair kit. Uh, yeah, never have much success with repair kits on these things, but uh, I'm, I'm optimistic that I won't need it. Uh, sleeping bag I got for my wife is ah here it is the woman's rhapsody down to 15 or, or 9 celsius um it's whatever i don't know it's a comfy sleeping bag i like the shape i'll probably get one for myself one of these days but uh my wife uh is a side sleeper and this uh the way it the way it works out uh side sleeping is 
is uh, not a problem. You're not squished into that rectangle shape. Um, no idea what this little guy's for, but there's a tiny little pocket right here. Um, I, I don't know. I guess you could put keys. It's not big enough. Well, maybe 15 years ago it was big enough for a phone, but you're not getting your iPhone or your Android in there. Um, let me see. No idea what that is. Some sort of... Oh, it's just where you can stuff this. Stuff that away. Once you zip your head down. It's got this cool little... I don't know. I, kind of like a scarf. You can just kind of stuff it under your neck. Which is which is nice. Uh, anyway. Uh, nice stuff. And what's cool is it comes with... Comes with a good storage bag. Um, so it's just a nice big canvas... Or not canvas, but cotton storage bag. And also comes with a stuff sack. So I was pretty impressed by that. That was a, a nice touch. Or maybe I just haven't bought sleeping bags in a while. But anyway, um, sorry for the quality of the video, the probably shakiness of the camera, and overall uh, lack of professionalism here. But uh, I just wanted to let you have a chance to see it because I didn't see much. Uh, there's a couple videos about setup, so I, I think that they're all the same as far as setup goes. The whole wagon top, you know, two well, two main sets of poles, and then a, a one middle pole that goes over the middle. Uh, so you can you can find those videos elsewhere. If you have any questions about a particular thing you want to see, or if you notice some glaring uh, issue with my setup, <laughs> I'm I'm happy to take advice. Um, so. That's about it, I think. Oh, no idea what this guy's for. This yellow or green strap appears to just link both sides of the tent. It's not adjustable. I guess that just keeps you from spreading everything out too wide. Uh, I don't think it'll be a problem. Uh, but maybe, you know, after a couple glasses of wine, when you're trying to get into your sleeping area, it might, uh, it could, could get you. Um, okay. I'm going to I'm going to shut up there and leave you to it. Any uh I'm impressed. I'd buy it if I were you. And uh cheers. Let me know if I can help.